Hey guys, so say we're asked to prove that uh, 3 divides n cubed plus 2n for all positive integers n. So how would we go about doing this? Well, uh, we can use something called induction. And the principle of mathematical induction or PMI says that um, well it's it's basically an algorithm and generally it's used to show something that's true for all natural numbers or all integers or something that suggests we can do it for um, all uh, positive whole numbers um, and that's for a reason uh, and as you'll see so how how do we go about uh, tackling a problem like this well there are sort of two steps and uh, step one is uh, and I, I'll use this analogy that my math professor used last year and uh, he said if you think of it as seeing whether or not the first domino falls that gives you some information that at least the first domino uh, in this um, let's say you have a bunch of dominoes lined up like this and uh, someone tells you uh, the question is did all of the dominoes fall that's what you're trying to understand so you need to know whether all the dominoes fell but you're only given two pieces of information. You're given that this first domino, it fell, and you're given uh, the piece of information number two is that um, uh, if the first domino fell, then the second domino fell as well. So you're given these two pieces of information. So can you confidently say now, based on these two pieces of information, that every single domino here fell? And if you think about that, yes, you can say that because we're dealing with uh, whole numbers here. We're not dealing with, um, you know, uh, all real numbers or something continuous where um, maybe if one falls, well, there's no real, really any kind of idea where we can say, okay, what is the next thing that, what is this next domino that falls? Here, we're just dealing with whole nice numbers, so naturals or integers, and we can say confidently that, yeah, number one fell, so number two had to have fallen based on this rule number two, that if one falls, the next one falls. And we're given that the first one fell, so since the first one fell, this number two had to fall. But then if the number two fell, then number three also had to fall. And you get the pattern. Um, all these dominoes eventually have to fall down. And uh, we're just left with um, this property that we wanted, which was, did all the dominoes fall? Well, yes, all the dominoes had to have fallen because um, the first fell, and under this rule, um, the next one fell, and the next one, and the next one, and so on. So this is exactly the principle of mathematical induction. And uh, <clears throat> what the principle of mathematical induction says is, um, first, uh, we define some kind of a predicate, and um, let's define this predicate, uh, and I'm assuming you know what a predicate is. Um, if you don't, it's just uh, something which has a truth value. So um, something which is either um, true or not true. It's it's a claim that uh, we're going to um, argue about. So here our predicate is um, three divides uh, this expression n cubed plus 2n for all positive n 
all positive integers n. So this is our predicate. And uh, we want to show that p of n holds. We want to show that p of n holds. So first, we're going to follow this sort of recipe we uh, talked about earlier with dominoes. Um, but how does that look like in a real math problem like this? So the first thing to do is um, step one, which is did the first domino fall? Or in other words, um, the f is this true for the first natural uh, or for the first positive integer n? We're saying something about all positive integers n, but let's see if it's even true for the first one. So um, we're going to check this property for p1. So the predicate where n equals 1. Let's see if the predicate holds for n equals 1. So 3, um, does it divide uh, 1 cubed plus 2 times 1? Well, uh, we know that 3 divides 3, and uh, three, uh, 3 is equal to this expression that's inside. So, yes, P of 1 holds. Okay, so now we know p of 1 is uh, true. Um, is p of k true? Um, well, let's see. Uh, let's, let's assume that we have at least one, uh, one uh, integer where this is true, okay? Because clearly we have one here. Um, but even if we didn't, this is just an assumption we're making, so uh, this doesn't necessarily have to happen, but if it did, we can say something uh, interesting about uh, a different property. So let's just say if, uh, if one domino fell, right, this is property number two we're talking about here. If one domino fell, then let's see uh, whether or not the next domino also fell. So let's say p of k is true. Now the question is, is p of k plus 1 true? And remember, all this is asking is, since the first domino fell, which is p of k, so k is that first domino, or not, not necessarily the first domino, an arbitrary domino, I should say. Some arbitrary domino fell. And then k plus 1 is the next domino, so the next domino also fell. That's what we're interested in learning about. So here we go. Um, so uh, first, we made this assumption that p of k was true, so let's just write it out. p of k. Um, so since it's true, p of k implies that uh, 3 divides 1, uh, oops, k cubed plus 2k and um, what this means is, maybe I'll write this on a new line. Um, okay, so uh, let's see. This divides this, so by definition, that means um, k 
cubed plus 2k equals, uh, and if you remember the definition of divisibility, um, that's saying 3 times m, right? For some m, some integer m. Okay, so uh, this is by the definition of divisibility. Um, so if we have this, uh, what else is true? Well, can we somehow um, get this to be, okay, this is the other thing we want to talk about. Um, what do we want to show? We want to show, want to show that three divides k plus one cubed plus two times k plus one. Right, this is what we wanted to show. And uh, hopefully you can see that uh, showing this is the same as showing this, right? So um, assume uh, we, I, I guess this is sort of incomplete here, uh, for some positive integer k. Okay. So now uh, we want to show uh, 3 divides k plus 1 cubed plus 2k plus 1. And uh, that suffices to show that p of k plus 1 is true. Okay, um, so we need to show this. This is where we're at here. And um, w the question to ask is, what can we do over here to make it look like... Uh, well, the equivalent definition of div divisibility for this. Well, actually, let's let's do some rough work. We're allowed to do some rough work, right? So, uh, let's say rough work. What is this thing expand to? Well, this expands to um, k cubed plus 3k plus 3 plus 1 plus 2k plus 2, which is equal to, let's gather the like terms, this is 4 plus 2, that's 6. Um, k cubed up front. Uh, and uh, 3 plus 2 is 5k. So we have k cubed plus 5k plus 6. So what do we have to do here to make it look like that? Um, okay, so uh, k cubed plus 2k is what we have. So let's just add to both sides um, what remains, right? Uh, or let's even, to better show this, um, this is k cubed plus 2k, which is what we had before uh, down here. Uh, plus 3k plus 6, right? Okay, so we're going to add 3k plus 6 to both sides. This is what we're going to add. 3m plus... Oops. 
Okay, so this is uh, just copy paste from here. Um, okay, so what did we do? We added this 3k plus 6 to both sides. Hopefully you saw that uh, isn't too, uh, too big of a leap from what we just had. Um, and now, what do we see? Well, this, remember, this whole thing here is precisely the same as what we had before, um, right? Uh, this is exactly this, and uh, that, if we go back, is exactly this. You see all these equal signs, it's, this is equal to this. So we'll just go back and write this there. We factored everything out and now we have this nice this nice thing over here. And uh, on this other side, we have, well, m, remember m is an integer, k is an integer. Uh, so what is this? Well, this is three times uh, m plus k plus two. And here, what do we see? m plus k plus 2 is also an integer. But this is pretty much uh, the definition of divisibility. Uh, again, once again, we see that uh, 3 divides um, this thing, right? So this is precisely what we wanted to show. Remember, uh, up here we said we want to show this property is true, and we showed it over here. So we're almost done. Um, we just have to say uh, p of k plus one holds. Okay, so now we did all this work to show that the first domino fell, and then if the set of if any domino fell, then the next one also had to fall. So, what does this mean? Well, now we simply state that by the principle of mathematical induction, uh, every this is true for every integer, every positive integer. Why? Why is that the case? Because the same argument as what we had up here for our dominoes. The first thing is true, it's uh, or the predicate holds for the first uh, positive integer. And uh, given that it's holding for that first positive integer by this second property we showed, um, it must hold for the second. And because it must hold for the second, it must hold for the third, then the fourth, and so on. And it must hold for every single one. So by PMI, um, indeed, we have that uh, 3 divides n cubed plus 2n for all positive integers n. And uh, that's about it. Yeah, thanks for watching.